Okay, and check, check, check. This is another super mad crazy Wednesday here from the Panama Racing Club. This is like Prime Live on CBS TV and CBS Radio. Greetings. Look at our uh, uh, Christmas tree with purple balls. Hakbart, Dim Garden. Is Dim Garden. And, uh, Ofra is also coming. Ofra also coming. So sit back, relax, and let us do the driving. In her eyes tonight, there's a glow tonight. They're so bright, they could light on a moon tonight. She's so gracious. So gracious. She's not seeing me. Bless her little heart. Click to the cord. Acting out of us with a reality quality ball. She's such fun tonight. She's a treat tonight. You can spread her out, spread so When everyone you have ever loved is finally gone. When everything you have ever wanted is finally done with. When all of your nightmares are for a time obscured as by a shining brainless beacon or a blinding eclipse of the many terrible shapes of this world. When you are calm and joyful, and finally entirely alone, then, in a great new darkness, you will finally execute your special plan. One needs to have a plan, someone said, who was turned away into the shadows and who I had believed was sleeping or dead. Imagine, he said, all the flesh that is eaten, the teeth tearing into it, the tongue tasting its savour and the hunger for that taste. Now take away that flesh, he said. Take away the teeth and the tongue, the taste and the hunger. Take away everything as it is. That was my plan, my own special plan for this world. I listened to these words and yet I did not wonder if this creature whom I had thought sleeping or dead would ever approach his vision, even in his deepest dreams or his most lasting death. Because I had heard of such plans, such visions, and I knew they did not see far enough. That what was demanded in the way of a plan needed to go beyond tongue and teeth and hunger and flesh, beyond the bones and the very dust of bones and the wind that would come to blow the dust away. And so I began to envision a darkness that was long before the dark of night and a strangely shining light that owed nothing to the light of day. That day may seem like other days. Once more we feel the tiny legged trepidations. Once more we are mangled by a great grinding fear. But that day will have no others after. No more worlds like this will follow. Because I have a plan. A very special plan. No more worlds like this. No more days like that. 
There are but four ways to die, a sardonic spirit might have said to me. There is dying that occurs relatively suddenly. There is dying that occurs relatively gradually. There is dying that occurs relatively painlessly. There is the death that is full of pain. Thus, by various means, they are combined, the sudden and the gradual, the painless and the painful, to yield but four ways to die. And there are no others. Even after the voice stopped speaking, I listened for it to speak again. After hours and days and years had passed, I listened for some further words. Yet all I heard were the faintest echoes reminding me, there are no others, there are no others. Was it then that I began to conceive for this world a special plan? There are no means for escaping this world. It penetrates even into your sleep and is its substance. You are caught in your own dreaming where there is no space and are held forever where there is no time. You can do nothing you are not told to do. There is no hope for escape from this dream that was never yours. The very words you speak are only its very words. And you talk like a traitor under its incessant torture. There are many who have designs upon this world and dream of wild and vast reformations. I have heard them talking in their sleep of elegant mutations and cunning annihilations. I have heard them whispering in the corners of crooked houses and in the alleys and narrow back streets of this crooked, creaking universe, which they, with their new designs, would make straight and sound. But each of these new and ill-conceived designs is deranged in its heart, for they see this world as if it were alone and original, and not as only one of countless others whose nightmares all proceed like a hideous garden grown from a single seed. I have heard these dreamers talking in their sleep, and I stand waiting for them as at the top of a darkened flight of stairs. They know nothing of me, and none of the secrets of my special plan. While I know every crooked, creaking step of theirs. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
the voice of someone who was waiting in the shadows, who was looking at the moon and waiting for me to turn the corner and enter a narrow street and stand with him in the dull glaze of moonlight. Then he said to me, he whispered, that my plan was misconceived, that my special plan for this world was a terrible mistake. Because, he said, there is nothing to do, and there is nowhere to go, there is nothing to be, and there is no one to know. Your plan is a mistake, he repeated. This world is a mistake, I replied. <laughs> The children always followed him when they saw him hopping by. A funny walk, a funny man, a funny, funny, funny man. He made them laugh sometimes. He made them laugh, oh yes he did, he did, he did, he did, he did. Oh how he made them roll. One day he took them to a place he knew, a special place. And told them things about this world, this funny, funny, funny world. Which made them laugh, sometimes. He made them laugh, oh yes he did, he did, he did, he did, he did. Oh, how he made them roll. Then the funny little man who made them laugh, sometimes he did, revealed to them his special plan, his very special funny plan, knowing they would understand and maybe laugh sometimes. <laughs> He made them laugh, oh yes he did, he did, he did, he did, he did. Their eyes grew wide beneath their lids, and how he made them roll. <laughs> I first learned the facts from a lunatic in a dark and quiet room that smelled of stale time and space. There are no people, nothing at all like that. The human phenomenon is but the sum of densely coiled layers of illusion, each of which winds itself upon the supreme insanity that there are persons of any kind and all there can be is mindless mirrors laughing and screaming as they parade about in an endless dream but when i asked the lunatic what it was that saw itself within these mirrors as they marched endlessly in stale time and space he only rocked and smiled then he laughed and screamed and in his black and empty eyes, I saw for a moment, as in a mirror, a formless shade of divinity in flight from its stale infinity of time and space and the worst of all of this world's dreams. My special plan for the laughter and the streams. <laughs> We went to see 
some little show that was played with an old shed past the edge of town. And in its beginnings all seemed well. The miniature curtain stage glowed in the darkness, while those dolls danced along the red swing before our eyes. And in its beginnings all seemed well. But then there came a subtle turning point which some had noticed. I was quietly at the shadow. 
On dansera pendant toute la nuit Parce que moi je t'aime I love you Te quiero Si tu veux venir On sera seul à la lumière de la lune Toi et moi Au bord de la mer On parlera d'amour Je suis là Pour te donner mon cœur. Sign of me to wine and you should give me your soul Two windows to make in the blue sky give me your soul Sign of me to wine and you should give me your soul Two windows to make in the blue sky give me your soul
We dance on the old discotheque I won't forget you anymore I was here and you were there When you just touched me with your smile I thought the dance my holy care To talk to you a little while And my thoughts will take your hand
If you like hurting flies and poking people's eyes, Soviet nerve gas is fun. Get your gas mask out of pocket, get a knife, get a rock for the Soviet nerve gas attack. Don't depend on us, we don't want to make a fuss for a Soviet nerve gas attack. The third world is shrinking and the politics are stinking like a Soviet nerve gas attack. Soviet nerve gas attack. Soviet nerve gas attack. Soviet nerve gas attack. Frankie can't make it Cause things are just too hard Frankie can't make enough money Frankie can't buy enough food And Frankie's getting evicted All I tears for Frankie Frankie, Frankie Oh, Frankie, Frankie Frankie is so desperate He's gonna kill his wife and kid Frankie's gonna gonna kill his kid. kid Frankie picked up a gun Pointed at the six month old kid in the crib Oh Frankie Frankie looked at his wife. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Frankie with a gun to his head. I know it! Frankie's dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> 